Oh, oh whoa. <laughs> How are you starting? Did that sound... You really enjoy this podcast, huh? No, that's not why I was going. What was that? You were going, oh, you've just She's been flat go, out. Oh, Jack, it's just, you know, driving here is not the same as a copter. Uh, oh, it's just, okay. <laughs> it's not the same as getting here on a helicopter. It's just, it's different, oh, Jack. It's good stuff. It's, That's a good little surprise star from Lulu. It's very different. No Jeeves around. So can we just can we just run the bedwetters through it? I don't even know where to start. The, Maybe start with that fucking hunk of spunk of a pilot. He was gorgeous. Hotter than a hotter than a one dollar fifty like pistol. Stunning. Married, three kids. I, oh, You're how allowed old to was think he? So, he was only thirty three. Yeah, so he's been punching them out. Yeah, I mean, you're allowed to think someone's gorgeous. Isn't it? Is it not illegal? That's you dead right, Louise. It's not illegal. It's you're simply admiring the aesthetic of an individual. Exactly. It was, yeah, <laughs> gorgeous. It was, so when we were G- like, Give it to us start to finish. Okay, so we arrive, and I've obviously never been in one of these choppers, is what we would call them. Except for when you were going back and forth to school. <laughs> yeah, post cinema session. Yeah, 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 yep, 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 that's cool. <laughs> so post cinema, into the chopper, straight to school, to school for three hours till your parents would pull you out, back in the chopper. With Jeeves. Home for, you had McDonald's in your house like Richie Rich. <laughs> <laughs> back for 17 quarter pounders. Polar opposite, but thank you so much. Okay, yep. Um, so we arrived there and we had the, we had the, we had the big chopper. It was, it was a Yeah, big, the bopper. It was a big one. It was scary though because the whole front was glass. Love that. But it's like if that went ploughing down, it would – that's a lot of glass in your face, you know? Last thing you'd probably worry about, bud, you'd probably worry about the impact rather than the glass. Yeah. You'd probably be dead upon impact. Oh, you'd definitely be dead. You know what I There's mean? There's not a lot surrounding you from the outside and the, 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 <laughs> the chopper. It's a tremendous observation. <laughs> when we hopped in, though, <laughs> I've sat in the front seat next to him and then Tor was next to me, Asher and Brooke were in the back. And I go, where do I hold on to where you take off? And he goes, definitely. Just unzips his zipper. <laughs> Charge. That is. What? Just, excuse oh, me. It's not it's, good enough. It's very no. early on the podcast. You're right. It's just, raise the bar. Raise the raise bar. Oh, well, he raised his bar. <laughs> Let me tell you. Okay. All right. You're right. But Sorry. he said, definitely not that. And that was like the ejector. You know, we talk about the ejector. Bullshit. Well, he didn't but tell, no, no, hold on. He but didn't tell me it was the ejector. I just imagined in my head it was. Oh, but it was a big button, no, a big lever. So that would surely be the ejector. I don't think that chopper would have, only military choppers would have ejector oh. seats. Well, I'm lying then. Yeah. I must be wrong. It would have. I made that, I fully made, like he told me not to grab that, but in my head I was like, well, that's the ejector. Well, well did you not ask, like, well, what is that? No. Okay. I think it's. Ma- shardies in, the girl's too excited. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, a valid yeah. point. But I think maybe my imagination was either it was the ejector seat or like it opened the glass at the front. No? I'd, I'd highly doubt that the windscreen could be opened by a lever, okay. by a passenger. Well, he, he was very adamant on me not touching it. And you know what that means? I want to touch it. What? <laughs> <laughs> we st- what are we talking about? <laughs> the lever. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, the, the fucking, the helicopter lever. Yeah. You're sick. I am. Get your head out Louisa, of Louisa, I am. The gutter. That's yeah, in the gutter perpetually. Yes. And then so he took, yeah. us, took us over the bloody harbour bridge. So how long did it take to get, fucking get there? Well, he took us on a scenic tour. It only took 45 minutes. But if we'd gone straight there, did, did see it would have been 20 minutes. Really? But he took us like around the harbour bridge, saw the opera house. That's mad. Saw um, Rose Bay. I could see my... Where's that? Uh, Rose, uh, it's eastern suburbs, right. Sydney, right. Right. right? And then you could see Vaucluse. Did you see the right? Ro- oh, I know that. I know that suburb. Didn't see the Rojo. You didn't see the Rojo. Saw um, a lot of fancy Point Piper houses. Okay. And then we went over to Manly, and then we went Freshwater, Avalon, Palm Beach, all around. So fucking, where did you actually have lunch? Hunter Valley, and then but, we but went over Gosford. Evoca, mm. and then we went inland, Jack. We went inland and we went through the forests, and then we landed right outside the restaurant. So there's a there's a helipad where you just plop down and then you're right inside. So how many girls were in the chopper? Four. So how many wait staff did you all spit on? 
That is very rude. We were very kind to the man pouring our rosé and bringing over multiple tequilas and Aperol spritzes. You told me that you and the girls were spitting on his jacket when he turned around. <laughs> I've made a TikTok of the whole trip that I'm going to get Jarch to voice over for me. Voice over. Like, oh my God, girls, best fucking day ever. <laughs> yeah, I cannot can, wait. Can to I do be it. honest though? Yeah. It, Actually, probably was one of the best days. Well, like, mate, it's pretty it was, unreal. It was an unreal experience. Like, it was fucking awesome. Great company. We went to Bistro Malone's. Like, Malone, I don't know. Malone's? Malone's. Yeah, Post owns it. Yeah. I think. Didn't he just buy that? Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Yeah, Post yeah, Malone? Yeah. yeah, so he named it Post Malone's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But legit the best food ever. And then Ludo was a little bit, a little bit sleepy. So I had an um, espresso before we left. Did but you? it was funny because on the trip over, we are all like sober, you know, having a good time looking out the window. Oh, you know, a few selfies, a fair few. Okay. And then on the way back, we were all blind. Like, yeah. Like, so drunk. We'd been drinking for like three and a half hours. There would have been a stark lunch. contrast between him taking you. Oh, this is yeah. gorgeous. So one of the girls goes, like through the little chopper things, goes, has anyone fucked in here? <laughs> <laughs> and he was so polite that he was just like, uh, Hasn't happened while I've been in here, but I've, you know, heard some stories and things like that. He would have. I obviously, because you could hear me through the thing, I was pretending to be like a, a captain of a big, you know, Qantas flight. So I was going, um, thank you so much for joining us aboard. Uh, we will have the wait star. The flight attendant's coming through soon with refreshments. Um, card only if you're paying for things. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, our Qantas flight rewards passenger. <laughs> but I was very good at it because yeah. I was a bit tipsy. And then we tried to record it, not realising that obviously it's so fucking loud in the helicopter. You can't, you can't hear a fucking thing. But everyone was having a giggle in the, in the plane. So, the chopper, so. Oh, so was, we should, kind of should have been there for that one. Uh, yes, but I'm so <laughs> sorry you weren't invited. <laughs> Jeeves was instead of It's you. very hurtful. Then we went from Mascot to the city, straight to Jackson on George, new place. A lot of suits. Okay. But actually not really. Um, and then, oh, and then I look at my bloody watch. I ended up at Bar Toddy's for dinner at midnight. So this, imagine this. I've been drinking from twelve p.m. Yep. I'm at Bar Toddy's having Negronis for Did dinner. Did you eat? At, yeah. Are they still open for dinner? Yes, on a Thursday, and there was a DJ. I didn't get home till four a.m. That's a sixteen-hour stint for LDD. It's a good stint, Lulu. It's a fucking huge stint. Good stint. And then, actually no. That's a very wanky weekend if I say that. Say it. And look, hey, give us the cherry on top, sugar. Well, then I had to set up my sauna in the morning. Fuck <laughs> 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 me, But swinging. in saying that, the helicopter was uh, a gift. Yeah. The sauna was purchased from me to me for Christmas. Correct. And so I Correct. I had someone help me set it up. God, you poor bloody thing. So you've gone bloody 16 hours after a chopper and then you've had to wake up the next blooming it's, day, Louisa, you know, and you've had to set up a fucking sauna. It's just, it's, it's appalling. And Jeeves wasn't around. Darling, I would have... I would have shot somebody. Oh, well, I had to call in reinforcements because Jeeves was out. So when you had help setting up the sauna, well, where say? the fuck was my fucking call? You wouldn't help me. Of you, course I would help oh, you. Oh, would you? Were you playing golf? Oh, Friday. Yeah, yeah that was, so I yeah, someone, was. I got right. someone else to help me set it up. Fair. And he... Who? Like, just a, a, a mate. Nice, mate. Yeah, nice. Um, and he <laughs> helped me set it up and he... While like he was letting me use the drill, so I was like, "Oh, I'm pretty fucking good at this." And I was like, zing, zing, zing. Shock, 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 right. yeah. No, I'm really good at using a drill, <laughs> and I would go up and make us tequilas because it was a boiling hot day, you know. Oh, You're setting up a sauna, you've darling. obviously got to have some tequilas. It's, it's essentially slave it's, labor. Exactly. What Do you know I what I mean? Said. You're essentially an Egyptian uh, chipping away at granite. It's, it's that was exactly what I said, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would have made us tequilas. Anyway, later that night, we were all at my mate's house, like, for kick-ons on the Friday night. <coughs> and the Sorry. girls were like to him, oh, like, how did Lou go setting up the sauna? And he was like, oh, 10 out of 10, easily. And then he goes, oh, actually, I wasn't going to tell anyone this, but... Every time I would go upstairs to make us more drinks, he would re-drill all the he holes i have done mistakes. because they weren't set up properly. Apparently, like, he's like, she'd go up there and it was just this fucking rickety <laughs> thing. Like, the purpose of a sauna, keep the heat in. Very hard to do if you're not <laughs> drilling it properly. Go, <laughs> Bye, Tobbs. 
Bye, Tobler. Love you. Love you. Love you, Mwah. Love you Mwah. so much, you sweet purple angel. Um, so yeah, he is a little purple boy today. Yeah. But yeah, so that and that, that was my weekend, and then I had a beautiful day at the beach on Saturday. Saturday had a few roses at Club Rose Bay, which potentially could be the new Rojo, guys. Oi, oi, hold on. By the kayaks. It's it's outside, it's summer. I think Rojo's our winter pub. What were we talking who were we talking about that place for? Bushel. Club Rose Bay is the summer spot, and so is Diggers. They also know about the Curry Night video. I was there on Sunday. Who the Bondi Diggers yeah. from the crew? And her I think her name's Sandy. She came yeah, over Sandy. and said, Thanks so much for the shout out. Oh, the, one of the blokes would have told her because yeah. he likes to put Sandy's a sweetheart. She's a sweetie. So we essentially go to the Bondi Diggers, which is, um, we love it because they do a curry night every Thursday. Well, that's where you guys do your dance squad. And that's where we obviously practice right. for our step up, like our dance battles and shit. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> it's one of these fucking gems that's like no still really an old school golf that. club on the top of the hill. Probably got the best view of the fucking, of Bondi and that. Sco- Cheap schooners, grouse feeds. Phenomenal um, schnitties. Good schnitties. Like, it's just a fuck. It's just, we love it. They also do those double doozies, which are like 1.6 standards. True. Just if you were wanting to get extra drunk. Yeah, well, it's, a tip for you. it's quite nice on a Thursday. So, mm. um, <clears throat> yeah, shout out to Sandy and the crew at the Diggers. Because yeah. also, grouse raffles there too. I won mm. it twice. In a well, row once, and Dave hadn't won it since the like two and a half years that he'd been there. Oh, he was there on Sunday. Yeah, so he's loves drinking. So you were back there Sunday. <coughs> yeah. So you went. So sorry, sorry, buddy. Can I just let me just clarify? Uh, you went Thursday. Sixteen hours. Friday, sat on a sauna and tequila sodas, getting pissed. Um, Saturday, rosés down the club. Rosé. Okay. We gone Sunday, back up to the diggers to get fucking. So what's happening? What's That's happening? Um, Is everything okay at home, buddy? Everything's or? we fine. We're be- okay. Better than fine. Okay, we're good. I should feel terrible today. I feel tremendous. I'm very piss fit. Yeah, it's this it, time of year though. Yeah, she's kicking and like it's. I am. I am piss fit. If I was in the CrossFit Championships for drinking, the big dog LDD would be coming first place. What do you think of people who refer themselves in a third person as a third person? A very cool person. <laughs> So who who would you say is the coolest person ever? Probably me. Who's that? The big dog LDD. Correct, Mundi. <laughs> what do you What do you think of them? Bit fucked. <laughs> Except when it's daddy. Oh, I'm daddy. By the way. <laughs> so, can I clarify something? Who is daddy, daddy? That you jumped in. And yeah, you're right. I've saved myself. <laughs> well, Lulu, I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad that you got to experience what it is to be the upper echelon of the, society. The helicopter was a one in a lifetime experience, and I don't think I was. I didn't have to, you know. I won't, wouldn't be affording that myself, would I? Probably not. So how thank, much you reckon that would sit you back? I got no idea, but I can't imagine it. She'd be cheap. Yeah. I I had a relatively sleepy weekend. Can't That's not true. You messaged me at 1 a.m. on Friday. You FaceTimed me and said, I'm coming to join you. But but relatively sleepy. You didn't join me, though. So that's when I knew the, the daddy, your daddy, daddy by the way, way, had ghost bombed me before even arriving. So uh, yeah, like, well, I was pretty pumped. I was like, fuck yeah. I don't know if I'm, I don't know. I'm like, fuck, I don't know if I'm ready. But you had been at the golf day since. I'd had a golf day. So we kicked it off probably quarter to one. What time was the golf day? Quarter to one on Friday. Shout out to breaking the yips and the last hacker event of the uh, of this of the season. So I was at the Bondi Golf Course, fucking Clary Bowl, Cole Clacker. Um, oh, I saw owner this of video. Reno. You know the Motorino yeah. kit. The, it's grouse fucking kit. But he got a, a hole in one. He got a hole in one. I saw the video. Was that like a long hole? It. Um, <sighs> we're okay, let's just move through it. Let's Sleep push through stop. it because we're adults. Don't. Bring it up. I'm not gonna. Did he get along home? So we're standing there. We're having a good. It's a good day. The weather was on our side. What time was kickoff? Kickoff. We had a couple of cheeky scoops beforehand. I think we might have teed off at fucking round one thirty. So we'd had a couple of leg openers. You know, just bloody into the bloody. Sorry. Couple of leg openers. I'm sorry. What? Early beers. Leg openers. Yeah. For whom? Us. 
Why? Get us excited. Get us pumped about the day. But what are you doing with your legs wide open? Listen, I can show you the videos. <laughs> but you probably wouldn't like them. Couple just to warm us up. Okay. Okay. We get to the th- third hole. The third hole. And then we decided we might as well start playing golf. <laughs> 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 just we couldn't. <laughs> like, I know. What, 34 and 30? Yeah, that's not good, buddy. We can't even that's say the word whole <laughs> without pissing ourselves laughing. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, it's actually fucked. Yeah. But like, go forth, no more giggles. Yeah, the yeah. Hole. So, third hole, I was like, boys, I'm stuffed. It's fucking. Anyway, so <laughs> we get third hole. We all hit them. Not great. Okay. I, don't, I do a pretty good one. It was the best shot. So far. I'm like, okay, boys, we're good. So you're really good at golf. No, but we're playing Ambrose. So it's like whoever fucking – Ambrose means we're in a team of four. So you go off the best person's shot. So if three of you have shockers and one of you hits a smoke, fucking smoke set, oh, you're like, we'll use Eddie's. Okay, cool. So I did a good shot. And I was like, sweet. We're good. We're going to smoke these fucking cunts on this hole. Clacky gets up, smacks it. I'm like, that looks pretty good. I said, mate, that's pretty good. I reckon that'll roll down the hill a bit. You fuck, I reckon, I reckon you're all right. Then three blokes start running over the hill like it's the fucking, like it's the ride of the Rohirrim, if you know. Just randoms or. Like the boys that were playing, running over screaming. They're going, yes, yes. And we're like, fuck off. No, bullshit. And my initial thought was like, they've been up there conspiring, saying, oh, next one to hit, let's just run down and pretend. And the closer I got to them, the more I could see in their eyes the pure passion. And surprised that they felt <coughs> from what they just witnessed. And they were like, it hit the bank and it just rolled down. It's in. And so we all just sprint up to the hole and lo and behold, ball in the hole. Clacker got his got a hole in one. It was, those days are so fun. Yeah. As they like Well, I would love to come, but it seems like it's for men only. Strictly, yeah. Why? Well, just because we don't need the yammering. Um, Excuse so. <laughs> me. Yeah. It is strictly not Ooh, a men only event. It just me seems and my girlfriends would have forty four million times better chat than all of you. Forty four million. Yes. That's pretty. That's good chat, buddy. Yeah. Give you. Give I it, stand by that. Give it like fifteen million. No. Nah. You going forty four? I'm going forty four. You're forty four million. I might t- even go forty nine. I might even go sixty nine uh, million. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I knew where mummy was going with that one. So, Your mummy, by the way. Uh, no, it's 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 an invitational. So well, you I'd book like tickets. To come to the next just, one. Well, fucking book a ticket. Well, no one tells me about it. You're keeping things from me. It seems you like you didn't want me there. It seems like you're not interested in golf. Otherwise, Who, you'd know about it. Who's getting golf lessons? Ding, ding, ding. The big dog LDD at Moore Park. So suck my dick. <laughs> Sorry, the aggression took over me, but yeah, champion, I'm interested in golf. Well then, hey, hey, how about instead of making us do it, you do a little bit of fucking research yourself, get on the website. Hey, here's an idea. Buy a couple of tickets for you and your girlfriends I and will. then come and play. I will. Okay, next When's hacker. When's the next one? Next year. Dior, when's the next one? Uh, I don't know, like January, March, somewhere between then. So February? Maybe. <laughs> if it's in between Maybe. January and Great. March. It's a good guess. Great, I'll be there. Be there or be square. Well, I'm I, holding well, you to you it. You know what that means? Be around. Oh, that uh, felt right. Could I ask a question? Are you sweating? Like a whore in church. My legs. Let's just, if we can't talk about golf, where are we going to go from here? I know. Let's just. But very. Wet. Wet. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else just get a bit hotter? <laughs> now, I wanted to put something to you mm. that I was that I've always found weird about myself when I'm got a big event like so. I was. We've got the Hello Sport Chrissy party on Wednesday. Mm. I can, and we mean well. It's a oh, joint thing. Uh, oh, We're also it? part of this company, aren't we? Oh yeah, it's a Shane Keith. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sorry. It's ours as well. Yeah, okay, cool. It's our Christmas, our Christmas party, party too. Cool. There's okay. There's only three of us. Well, that's, there we go. Yeah. And Toby, RIP. <sighs> See you soon, dog. Um, hopefully, hopefully not, not too that soon. soon but like, hey, Jenks. I just said hopefully not that soon. 
<laughs> we just become best friends. Yep. Want to go do karate in the garage? Yep. yep. Now, I've got this thing, Lulu. Yeah. And I've had it, for, and I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, and I don't know why I operate like this. That that Christmas party on Wednesday starts at one forty-five. During the day, I find myself completely lost because all I can focus on is the fact that I'm so excited about this party that I got coming up. So on the yeah. hacker major thing, I had to kill time until twelve. Like I, it's to the point where I'm like, I can't even get up to make myself make food because I feel like somehow that's taking away time from what I'm doing. It's the fucking bizarre, and I've always been like it because I'm so excited about it that I can't. It's almost like it renders me useless to do anything else. So you don't do anything for the... the I struggle, like... Oh, see, I'm the opposite. Like, if I know I've got the big Christmas party, I'll be like, cool, I'm going to do Pilates, go for a walk, wash my doona, admin. See, that's what I'd love house. to do, but I, it's so weird. It's almost like I can't bring myself... All I do is, like, pace but around the house. you should think of it the other way around. Like, we're starting so early. We need to be at the boat by 1.45... So you're like, fuck, I don't have a lot of time in the day. I should jam some shit in. Dude, I completely agree. Yeah. There we go. Oh, my God. There we go. We're back. We're Fuck back anyway. sake. A, a moderately serious conversation for a minute and a half. <laughs> and we're just back into it. Well, I'd love to jam something in. <laughs> But at the end of the day, like, no, mate, like, I, that's why I don't know how to explain it. Bedwetters, well, if like any of you have this phenomenon, that... The, would you like me to plan your morning for you? But I think that even if I've got shit planned, like somehow over, I won't do it. Come over for a sauna and we'll go for a hot girl lap and then we'll go do some weights at the stadium. Yeah, I can do some because I need something. Because otherwise I just, all I can do, all I do is fixate on the fact I've got this party and I'm so excited. I'm like, fuck, do I just start drinking now? Like at home? Or like what? I, I wouldn't be doing that at 7am. No, well, the boat party starts at 1.45. You could have a drink at 12. That's what I mean. I Why need something to do. Why don't you come down to mine beforehand? I would love to. And we have a cheeky tequila. You've never had this, have you never had that experience? No, well, you're I'm so more excited like, about something you I'm can't even... I'm excited, but I'm more like, I don't want this to just take up my entire day. I'm going to do shit early in the morning. See, dude, I can't do it. Dior, have you ever experienced this? I don't know about like excitement, but I used to get the same when I worked at the pub and I would start an Arvo shift. I would just be like, well, I'm working. I don't want to make myself tired. I'm just going to do nothing all morning. <laughs> yeah. Until I work shift. Yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah. conserve my energy. Yeah, fair. I'm the opposite. If I know I've got something in the Arvo, I'm like, well, I'm going to jam pack my week through. Yeah, day that's what I kind of need to do because otherwise I'm lo it's like I'm lost. And it's like, it, even when I try and do something, I just struggle. And then I'm just because all I can think about is how excited I'm for this party. Well, Jack, how are we gonna how are we gonna cure this? <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> well, I think you actually need to actively be like, "Oi, motherfucker, yeah, come over in the come morning. down. We're gonna go do this shit. Come have a sauna, then we'll go for a hot lap. Then you go home. Then you and Steph come down and have some drinks at mine. And then we'll get to the boat. See, and you know what I hate? What? The f like. The thought of having to leave, then leave you and go home. Well, I can come with you if you want. But I don't know what it is, mate. I'll come up to yours and get ready. No, no, no. I'll do that. But I'm like, fuck, I'm home now. This is admin. Like, I just want to be there. It's so weird. It is. It is fucking bizarre. It's very bizarre. And I've never thought, like, I've never really sat down and thought about it until on Friday when I was just waiting. I'm like, why have I always been like this? Mm. Where I just cannot do anything. And then when it gets there, I'm like, I am so fucking happy to I'm be so here. I'm so excited. It's gonna be the best. It's gonna be day fun. Ever. We're going on a boat. It's gonna be lit. Fuck, you'll be nearly on every form of transport. What's up, babe? Have you guys got your costumes ready? What? You don't get no, me. Don't fuck off, dear. Don't you fuck with me. No, what are you talking about? no <laughs> I've got a, you I've don't got know a the fancy theme? dress I'm wearing over my bikini. Don't fuck with me. No, but it's like, it's dress up. It's no, costume, it's, not. it's not. Because St Steph and I were talking about it. Okay. It's, it's good from you, buddy. I like where your head's at. You could have stuck with me on that, Josh. Well, I'm but. To get well, no, I was aware of it. Yeah, she was too. Because I, I, I was scared. I was going to get stitched up too. I would show up dressed like fucking. Good God. Oh, mate. Kiss like Gene fucking what's yeah, his name? When Je I stand up from Gene here, Simmons. Yeah. Gene no, guys, you don't understand. It's gonna be stained. What? Because I'm that sweaty. I didn't even think this conversation was like that exciting. Just because it's that. Is there like no aircon on or some shit? Buddy, we don't have aircon. Oh. We just got these fans, but they're not um, doing their job today. And hey. bedwetters. When, when I say fans, I mean there are literally seven bedwetters with palm leaves. Doing this behind the cameras and throwing us grapes. We don't have an electrical thing that moves on the roof. I needed to make that very clear. Do you know, I um, went for a walk the other day with Tor. <coughs> and I was just like, God, Bondi is beautiful. Like, our backyard is stunning, Jack. 
But there is one thing that is very hard living in the East, is you bump into every person you don't want to see. So in the vicinity of... I think what? that happens everywhere, darling. Yeah, but it's, it's a small bubble. The, the Eastern Suburbs, for everyone listening, is a, um, an area of Sydney referred to as the, the East. Why? <laughs> Well, Jack, it's on the eastern side of Sydney. Correct. It's on the east coast of Australia, right? It's east coast. It's where the yes. beaches are. It's the eastern suburbs. Now, it's a, it's a flash. It's a pretty flash area. It the is. eastern suburbs is like the fancy area. We're very blessed to live here. Yeah, we're fucking broke. We are fucking broke from living here. This place is a hole. <laughs> I mean, it saved a cent. Oh, I mate. put it straight into jeans. I'm wigging out. Yeah, it's same. Anyway, it is what it is. Christmas That's fucking time. life. Christmas time, whatever. Fuck yeah, it. Suck me we'll make money station. next year. Yeah, Lou, you must like cry about how broke you are in your sauna, right? Just after <laughs> the helicopter. Get fucked, Dior. I saved up for that. And I will Dior. use it four times a week. And it will be like, instead of going for a hot girl lap with a friend, I'll say, come over for to a To be sauna. fair, I've looked them up. You got it on a sale. They're actually pretty fucking That's cheap. That's what I reckon as well. It was a fucking decent prize and it's hot as fuck. I christened it last night. I know I blokes that have spent more on rims than fucking a could get a sauna. Wheels. Oh. You mean like at the like Bro- rim job? Yeah, bro- <laughs> <laughs> probably I, I know like, that too. Yeah, probably not a few blokes that have done that too, Lulu. Yeah. That's what I mean. Plenty of worse things people would spend their cash on. Correct and Wendy. sauna. Now, continue. But so in the space of going from one end of... South Bondi to North Bondi, we see a guy that she'd entered it with, uh, bump into him, walk along, bump into the guy that I'd been seeing. Fuck me, swing. Yep. Had to have a chat with him, and it was just like, it was all fine, but you know, and it's like kind of like passive aggressive in a way, and like <laughs> these yeah, little yeah. moments, like yeah, it was yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're yeah. just little moments. Yeah, yeah. And they keep walking, and then another guy that I'd seen like two years earlier in Bondi. Right. I was like, who the fuck is next? <laughs> Then, then Maybe we'll your future guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're okay, buddy. You're you're fine. All right. Okay. You're fine, buddy. But but when we got to the third guy, we thought, fuck it, we're getting out of here. Mate, you got to. We just turned back. And we thought there's, there'll be someone else popping up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's admin, mate. It like this is why sometimes you just gotta ignore. <laughs> you gotta spot them, head down it. Fucking trudge, mate. Well, Especially you got headphones in. Or do what I do to every motherfucker on the street that's charity. Because I already do my bit. Now, I don't think, guys, that I'm not charitable. I do my bit. But it's, I've chosen my charities and I do my bit. So the cunts on the street could miss me with it. So every time I see him, it's like phone out the pocket. Yeah, bruh. Did he? Tomorrow. Fair income. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, if you want to meet up 10 a.m. tomorrow, then... That's a pretty good phone conversation. That was very good. You think that was real? I, I I get so awkward, I always end up talking and often giving. Some, oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck. What do you mean by giving? <laughs> what the fuck are you giving? Oh, you're talking about charity people, not the ex-boyfriends. That, is, oh, sorry. that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> That makes so much oh more sense. Oh, my God. Sorry. I assumed you were talking about the ex-boyfriends. No, I'm like, no, what are you giving them? Oh, no, no, no. One no. thing comes to mind, but you were talking the charity people. Charity people. The cheap people. The, the ex-boyfriends, the... Oh, well, that, fuck, They weren't funny. ex-boyfriends, but, like, <laughs> people I've seen. Um, the first one, like, saw us, like, arms wide out, like, big hug, like, keen to stop. That yep. was, like, a 10-minute combo. Yeah. The second one was, like, a, there he is, head down. Didn't need to stop though. It was like yeah. two years ago. Yeah. You get away with a wave, if that. He going. Yeah. How's it, champion? Mate, I feel ya. I um Yeah, I escaped that I escaped that this weekend on Saturday. When I went down to Dungog with my mate Tomsey and um Ando and his miss Tongo, Jongo, Tongo, Jingo, Palongo, Grobo, Sturlo, No, there was just the five of us. And let me tell you, it was it was like something out of a movie. Mm. So beautiful and green. You know how fucking hot it was on Saturday? It was 44 degrees as I was driving by past in Newcastle. 44 degrees. I'd wind down the window. It was like a fucking someone had a bloody... Um, I know. Bloody, what they called, hair dryer. I spent the day in the water. It, I just lay there. Wh- how hot was it in Sydney? Pr- like 36. I just literally lay in the shallow end of the water at one of the Bro, beaches. It's all you could do. 
Oh, I did a few jumps, a few bombs off the wharf. Oh, nice, huh? Well, more like a block my nose and... <laughs> yeah, ick. <laughs> um, so we get out there, it's like 40-some degrees... And then, so we're swimming in this river, just drinking whiskey, drinking beers in the river, just floating in the river. And I'm like, fuck. Fuck, this is living. We go back up to the house, go back down to this other spot. I've got to take you there, dude. Mm. It's like this beautiful river. Dugong? Isn't that a type of... Um, no, Dungog. Oh. There we go. Yes. Let's listen. But, but that is a type of, um, like, dolphin. A dugong? Yeah, it is a type of fucking dolphin, isn't it? Or is it like a seal? What a a dugong is like a manatee. I don't know. They're yeah, just like, their own thing. I don't yeah, they're their own thing. But it's more like a seal thing, isn't it? Like a man or yeah, I guess closer to a seal than a yeah. dolphin. Actually, what the fuck does a dugong look like? I never knew what they were until I worked in breakfast radio. Yeah, sorry, you but worked in. Uh, I Louisa Cleared out and used to do the quizzes for breakfast radio on Nova. Breakfast for no. Like, Lou, can I say some? If you'd worked in breakfast radio, I'm sure me, Dior, Willie B, Tobbs, we'd all know that. So guys, you I, never fucking mentioned I it. wrote the quizzes for Fitzy and Whipper every morning, and Dugong was one of the questions. What? What was the question? Or was it an answer? There was the answer. Sorry. <laughs> there Look you go. Them. That's a Dugong. Don't you think they can't, they look like a little bit like eight year old Lou? They. Dude, just in terms of sheer mass. Just Whoa, what the fuck, dude? They're like a healthy mix between a fucking a dolphin and a seal, kind yeah. of. Yeah, or like a walrus. Yeah, walrus. They've got those big, like, slobbery hoovers at the front. Yeah, well, you guys are pretty cool. They are pretty cool. I like them. Mm. Um,. Anyway, so not Jugong, <laughs> near Dungog. Beautiful rolling green hills, swimming Where in this is river. Dungog? It's like fucking. It's up towards sort of the same way we'd go to go to Walker. It's sort of along that route, right? Except a little bit more west. Don't bring root into it, Lou. I saw the face. Okay, we are adult. Anyway, in this river, I'm just... And when I'm in those moments, I'm just like... How, I can't help but be like, Oi, boys, how fucking good is this? Is there crocs in the rivers? Fuck no, not down here. Only in Cairns. Yeah, up north, like central Queensland, far north Brisbane? Queensland. <sighs> Don't know, they, they technically probably could get down to Brisbane. Northern Territory? Yep. Perth? Going too far around. I think so. Sorry, carry on. No, he's... That's what just happened. Sorry, oh, I well, ruined your story. I've just been talking about my weekend and... Sorry, I just wanted just to know. just brought two, two animals into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like telling a story and all you're like a child. You're like, why is, why isn't a Jogong an animal? Are there crocodiles there? Well, I'm a zoologist. <laughs> you see any koalas? Did shot a koala. No. Joking. Don't uh, I'm joking. Don't fuck But then this fucking huge storm rolls through, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be unreal. And it was, because beautiful big storm. And I was like, oh, that's yeah, why it was so hot. Rain. That's why it was so fucking hot. Pre-storm. Always so hot. Is that hot. a thing? Yeah. Think about those really hot days. You're like, oh, this is muggy. But and then there was weather, lightning strikes and the hills the all lit up on fire. machine didn't say that it was going to rain. Like, I mean, the weather app, not machine. It is so difficult to tell you a story. No, Judge, I'm just interested that, in questions. <laughs> that have nothing to do with anything. <laughs> you were talking Jugogs, about the weather. Crocs, fucking blah, blah. You were talking about the weather, so I chimed in with the weather. <laughs> My throat's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Big weekend for the girl. Um, now, that listen is up. Very, very inappropriate. You were insinuating that I had ad? done something. I thought you were giving. Oh, Jack. <laughs> well, you said previously. Put a bloody disclaimer at the start for Jill. <laughs> You've been terrible. <laughs> I have been terrible this no, podcast. No, fuck her. She can listen to it here. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. <laughs> Nothing's happened. He's lying. I might need a pit stop. Like, uh, honestly, to wipe your pits. Stand up. Like, um, it's, it is uh, sweaty. You, Let's have a little. I don't want to. I'm embarrassed. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mate. Lulu goes surfing on Google Chrome. On Google Chrome. You know, I listened back to that bit one day, and you sound very good. I'll start blushing here in a second if you're not careful, lady. Mm-hmm. You're a sweet angel, aren't you? I'm a sweet angel from the northern Rose from the, Bay. From the, from, the, from, the, from the land of the long white cloud. Yep. First headline, Canadian cyclist riles nearly 81 miles hands-free. Riles? Miles. Did I say rile? Yeah. yeah. Where did I get the R I was like, who's from? he riling up? 
Rides, I think you meant. Yes, miles. So that's <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. I said miles. Yeah, I, that's not. You, you said a Canadian cyclist riles eighty-one miles. So then I said riles rides. And you said yes, miles. I'm like, okay, let's just fucking. <laughs> The heat's got Dior. to me, guys. Yeah, it I'm has. I'm like full sweater. It has. Okay, so wait, wait. I didn't even hear it. Say it again. Well, now I'm going to... Hang on. Oh, you're going to have to like... I'm going to scroll back up. Canadian cyclist rides rides nearly 81 miles hands-free. For a Guinness World Record, he rode 80.95 miles in a time free. of 5 hours and 37 minutes. I remember... Have one of them two things in the year, did he? Dad joke. Hands free for five hours and thirty seven minutes. But what I was saying is I remember when I got my trainer wheels off and, and Franco last year. Pretty much. <laughs> and I'd cycle along and then Dad would be like nip we wouldn't allow he would not encourage us to take our hands off. He'd always be like, Make sure you know two hands on the steering or the biking handle rail. Handlebar. Handlebar. Yeah, of course. And so I've never really learnt how to do it. Like if I went for a bike ride now, I couldn't. I could do one hand, but not two. I think it's a it's little... It's like, almost like you're on a unicycle. Um, I know what you mean by that. But nah, it's pretty easy. Like it's just like you've got to be going like I think... I, don't, it's, I think it must be a bit hard if you're going slow. If you're going pretty fast. Because the bike just sort of goes itself. Well, you wouldn't do it downhill. Well, you could. But you wouldn't do it uphill either. You do it tough. on a flat surface. It'd be tough. Surface. I said surface. Surface. Flat, flat surface. That's what you yelled at the uh, the wait staff at the Hunter Valley. This surface is flat. <coughs> <laughs> You're all flat. More flair. <coughs> you know, when I uploaded the helicopter, like, carousel, or the fuck it's called, Instagram, everyone's going, um, Rich little girl with her sauna and helicopter, aren't you? <laughs> And then people being like, eight-year-old Lou, um, the helicopter wouldn't even take off. And then because the caption had something to do with Jeeves, and then people were coming to me like, if you know, you know. Yeah, I love that. Because people who don't listen to podcasts would be like, what a wanker. Fuck it. I don't care. Who gives a shit? It's for the bedwetters. Correct. Now, yeah, that's an interesting – so so he did that in Canada. Yes, Traditionally Jack. mountainous country, that can. I wonder if he was going up and down or whether he was fucking just swinging well, straight. He said he had a lot of practice riding without using the handlebars. And he fundraised for the Alzheimer's Society of Calgary. And he said, <laughs> <laughs> What? What, are you what else did he say? He said, <laughs> Personally, I find it to be more comfortable position to be in rather than hunched over i can text change the song get anything out of my backpack all while riding my bike it's like second nature for me it's actually not a bad point yeah and he's hoping that in 2024 i can attempt the rule record for the world's largest ice cream party slash social this guy um i shouldn't laugh it's adorable but he's going from the fundraising on the handlebars to the world's largest ice cream party. Well, he seems like a sweet little angel, doesn't he, Robert? He does. Now, very yeah. good on you, aren't you, Robert? Well done, Robert. Well Clever done, effort. Little Robert Murray. Good very little handless rider, aren't you? And he'll soon be a little ice cream man. Won't you? Or maybe a big ice cream man. <laughs> yeah. Next one reads, yep. Stranded cat avoids rescue by jumping from a top utility pole. A top? A top. A top of utility pole. So this cat... <laughs> A top, it's a top of utility pole, buddy. What did you think a top was? Well, buddy? Jack, I'm <laughs> tired and sweaty. <laughs> run me, so there were a Run me th- through what you thought a top, a utility pole was. Run me through that. I just thought a top would have been the type of pole. A top, a utility pole. It's a utility pole. Explain to me, sorry. It was a top of utility pole, simply meaning it was on top of it. No, because the a top is put together. Yeah, from a top. (laughs) (laughs) What's happened? Correct. A top is a word. It was a top of utility pole. Okay, bud. (laughs) (laughs) Look, to a defence, it is criminally hot in here, but fuck me swinging. So sorry. Okay. Well, back to the cat. Yep. 
he f- took a flying leap from the top of the pole. From a top it, yeah. And the incident was caught on camera. Alice Reed said her cat Coco was likely chased up the pole by a neighbourhood dog. This is bringing up tension. And he spent two hours crying for help from the pole. You know, mum's cat's gone missing. It's called Coco. You've just brought up. So sorry, Janelle. Oh, my God. Sorry, Janelle. Janelle. It's just Lulu just fucking, she doesn't care. She never has. Coco's missing. Let's stop Lulu go surfing and chat. Well, Coco's missing. We, we, do you want to hear a f- yarn? When did Not Co- a funny yarn. But when like, did Coco go missing? A while ago. Like a few weeks ago. And so, she, but she wasn't a stray cat. She was your family cat. No, family cat. She was a snuggle bun. She'd jump up on the couch, big snuggle. She was a, she was a snuggle bun. But the fucking... So I spun the yarn about this on the podcast a few weeks ago. And then bloody um, Richie, bloke from Walker, um, he's the captain of the footy club. He heard the podcast and then called mum and was like, hey, Janelle, um, you actually saw a bloody um, cat fall out of your car when you were driving up to the footy club a few weeks ago. (laughs) I was like, wouldn't that be something you'd probably like just mention? So he wasn't joking. (laughs) No, like, so then they had a full rugby meeting. Richie just like never raised it. Never what said do you mean mom. saw the cat fall out of the car? So it'd fall, it must have been up under the car somehow. Mum's driven in Coco. the town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they get up there, if it's the car's off, it's warm, whatever. They just like to go into places and shit. She's just taken off, seeing the, ca- the cat drop out. Now, personally, if I would have seen a cat, whether I thought it was feral or a pet, when I got to the rugby club meeting, I would have been like, I saw a cat fall out of your car. Oh, so they both went to the rugby club meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then Richie just never said anything. And then two weeks later, he's like, oh, yeah, I saw that cat fall out. Oh, so you don't live in the city of Walker. You live a bit out of Walker. So Coco's Yeah, gone. it's probably gone. But could be at a new home. Mm. We lost Jessie once and she came back a month later, I think. Yeah, these cats, are redu- they're, in de- they're resourceful and they're industrious. It's different to losing a dog. Yeah. Like if Toby went missing, it would be... a Fucked, but yeah. like a cat can come back. Cats can come back. It Wait sounds out. like a song. It was from the eighties. Cats can come back. Yeah, remember? Cats can come back. Yeah, how'd it go? Cats can come back. And what was the verse though? That's the chorus. Cats can come back because they are tabby and ginger and sphinxes. <laughs> And yeah, you can t- you love this song. And they go wander about on their own, and then they find their way back to your home <laughs> because cats are clever. We call them clever little cats. Cats go home. Cats go home. Cats go. <laughs> this is insane. This is like a fever dream. <laughs> I feel like I had a bit of rhyming going on. <laughs> you off. did. The cats coming home one was a yeah. good one. <coughs> and how but did the second verse song. go? <laughs> Shit. Nah. Dogs oh, don't okay. come home. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. What other Lulu? One more. Oh, fuck, that's funny. What's the time? What time have we been going for, Dior? Okay, we'll do one more and then we'll do yep. a hotline. Sweet Prince has um Oh yeah of course. What you call it? Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Lost Tomato found aboard International Space Station after eight months. A lost tomato, Jack. Woo woo Call the fraud fruit <laughs> the vegetable produce company. It's not you today. Because the lost fruit, the lost tomatoes. Nah, you've used up you, you used up everything in that song, kid. I'm sorry. You used everything up in that goddamn song. That beautiful song. <laughs> you used it all up. Okay. Technically a uh, tomato is a fruit. Correct. But so mug mug about oh. our good friend Frank oh. Rubio headed home already for Wait, space. what was that first word you tried to say? Our good friend. Oh, why'd you say Mog Bell? Because it was at the end of the sentence. I'm going back to the top of the sentence, Jack. (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) Christ. (laughs) Okay. So the NASA astronauts celebrating the 25th anniversary of the station that the remains of the tiny tomato had been found eight months after being misplaced. Misplaced. How do you lose a tomato in a spaceship, Jack? NASA, if you're listening, how? 
that they got big bulky suits on, probably their their Not peripherals. Not for a tomato. Stuff. And then Rubio, who, who returned no, to the Earth. humans. <laughs> Rubio, who returned to Earth in September, had been the target of joking accusations for months that he had eaten the space-grown fruit. Space-grown? Oh, so they're growing it up there. Yeah. First tomato is harvested in space. Should have read the first sentence, Jack. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, guys. You learn something new every day. One, uh, one, a, a fruit is a veg. Uh, uh, to oh, fuck, fuck me. It. Tomato is a veg. God. Tomato is a fruit, and <laughs> oh, and you can grow oh. tomatoes in space. Oh, we are. You know that fucking speech from uh, Billy Madison when he's like, "We are all now dumber for hearing what you." This is how, that's how I feel. Disagree. I di- I agree. Disagree. Mogbello. Jasmine was her name. Jasmine. Jasmine Mogbelly. There Jasmine. we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, now. That's the hotline, little tomato boy. Well, now you're the queen of songs. Do your little um, jingle for the hotline. And the hotline, when you call up, you get Jach and Lou and sometimes Dior <laughs> and sometimes Burma and sometimes Tobbs and then Toby if he comes back from heaven. Oh, God, I got sad real quick, didn't I? <laughs> Look at him. Hello. It looks identical to him. The print we've got behind us. Yeah. Shout out to Iconic Signage. Listening. <coughs> Newcastle. Oh, my God. I look glistening from all the sweat. All right. <clears throat> this one is six seconds. I'm just intrigued by it. Me too. A lot. Oh. But then he's got one before. Okay. Hold on. 439, 430. Okay. You Just must have done a lot of prep, Josh. Ah, get a good stuff. Really, I just find that to be. I don't know. It drags some emotion out of me. That was just fucking I'm sort of lost for words. I just, she just said it was such figure. It was just beautiful. <laughs> little pterodactyl cry. When I jumped in the water in the um, off the wharf. Everyone, Lily was there, a couple of others, and at the bottom said that when I did my first jump, I was like, <laughs> on accident though. Oh, did you? Not, like very icky, me jumping into the water, being like, <laughs> oh yeah, don't. I'm not very graceful or coordinated. No, buddy, but you're very good at other things. I'm very good at some. Okay, fuck it. Now we're just playing Sorry. smoke up our ass. It's well, you know, I know that I fumbled a few words today. It's fine. Okay, let's see what she's come back. She's come back with some heat after okay. that get a. This will probably be more touching. Lulu, Judge, how are you? I just listened to the helicopter episode and thought, why not call you from a helicopter? Currently what? heading out to muster some cows Mad. Yeah, girl. in a chopper. Anyway, just thought if you've ever wanted to come for a fly, come to Queensland. Anyway. Huru. Huru in the Zuzu. That's fucking cool. We would first, like to. First call from a chopper. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, um, I will say it didn't sound as bad as I expected from a chop. Smaller vehicles, those ones. They're fucking, have you seen them? Incredibly manoeuvrable. Like they go. Oh, boom, yeah. They're little baby ones because they go. Zing, zing, yeah, zing. they're fucking. It's for mustering. They're mad. Um, we would love that at some point. Ever in Queensland. Fucking. Le- would well, love. Yeah, that's living. Fine. Now, let's see. I love that you've done your prep. I never do, sugar. Yeah, no shit, champion. Now, I'm going to go, was the 9th of December Saturday? Yeah, I like finding these ones because they're a bit naughty. This is 11.25 p.m. Let's see what the bed was doing okay. on the piss. Hello, senoritas. Hello. Keely and Hayley here. Um, you've been ignoring our other messages, but I just wanted to say that is my 21st birthday. Um, so you should give me a call, um, say happy birthday, but not on this number because it's not my phone. Ugh. Well, fuck uh, me, I'll sweet. call this number. That's- I love you. Bye, senorita. We can't, we but- go to Vegas? Can we yes, go? Yes, we should. <laughs> Love you. Love, Love you. Love we'll you. Give you a for birthday life. message here because we can't call you back on not your number. So we was hope it, you have the sweetest twenty first. But hold on, was she Healy or Haley? Oh, she was Healy. I thought she said Keely. Keely? Fuck. Keely and Haley. Whoever's birthday it was, we hope you have the sweetest twenty first in the world. Or was it Keely ever. and Kaylee? 
I'm confused. You don't need to confuse me even more today. Was it Kenan and Kel? Uh, Was it Loretta and J- Jasper? Not bad, kid. But seriously, Keely or Kaylee or Healy or Haley. Happy 21st. Happy 21st. Hope it was a fucking rip It's a snorter. great age. Hope you did a bit of pissing. Hope you sunk some piss. Then proceeded to piss in your respective abode in your bed. Yes. And that sort of thing. What else would you like to say? Just exactly took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, and okay. you like kissing me. <laughs> Okie dokie, smoky chokey. Let's see what we got. Good evening, chumps. And by chumps, I mean Louisa fucking Dalton. <gasps> I posted a story for you, cunt. Lou, you didn't even like it. You Josh fuck it. was the only one that liked it. He fucking reposted me and everything. And Lou, you just sat there doing nothing. <laughs> Twiddling your big fat eight year old thumb. <laughs> Do better. Keep pissing. Which story was this? Well, I don't know. You never reshare anything. You're an idiot online. I, so I, how did... What? How did this turn on an attack on so me sorry. for doing the right but thing? How did I... I always like if someone tags me in a story, I usually try to see them and like them all. So my fat thumbs must have just missed yours. I'm so sorry. I did repost a story the other night and it was... A, bur- a bloke was wearing an excuse me senorita t-shirt. She's run up filming them and he goes, Hello senorita. Like that. And it made me giggle. I had a good laugh at it. Oh, was it outside Fat Lulu's? Oh, I don't know. Someone tagged me in one outside Fat Lulu's, which I loved. Really? Nah, well, if you'd well, say. Well, I always make an effort to like everything, so I'm so sorry my fat fingers missed you. She's lying to you. Oh. Uh, next one. Let's see. What- <laughs> I my face. What? We're on. We're on. Are we on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I fucking love yous and fuck you. No, no, don't say that. I fucking love yous. Send it hard. You guys inspire us to send it just like everyone else. Look, Josh is spit, but I don't, I don't know about Lou. I definitely got Big Jet vibes and Lauren, darling. I love you, Lauren. Chuck one up, Lulu. Whoa! I got Big Dick vibes. BDE, they reckon. Then he said, we need to toughen up Lulu. Yeah, thicken that skin up. I'm very tough. Have you read the comments that people say about me? Didn't even flinch. What, you're a 10? No, very mean things. Let's let's focus on the 99% positive, Lulu. Yeah. And the 1% negative can go on, suck a fat fucking cock. Um, Took the words right out of my, my mouth. And what else did we take out of your mouth? A tomato? Now, Bedwetters, what hey, an episode. The hottest 100, Jack. Oh, Louisa. You, uh, you've talked the words right out of my mouth yet oh, again. God, fucking hell, this is a new thing. <laughs> tomorrow, is it tomorrow, Dior, or was it yesterday? No, it was yesterday. All right, yesterday the voting started. You know what that means, little senorita. Oh, holy shit. Bitches, we want you voting for doing time, nerdy bra. Vote, 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 vote. We're going to post the link. We're going to get you, Bedwetters, voting so that when the hottest 100 comes out, all of us are going to be sitting around sinking some piss and listening to hopefully both songs. Correct. Hopefully. But if you only vote for one, do push Nerdy Bra. It was, it's the crown jewel in the uh, the repertoire that is our two songs. We'll bring out an album one day. I think, what, I honestly believe one day we will have enough of them. Oh, we will. That it'll be like an LP. We'll have to do another one probably around February, I reckon. Well, it can be the cat song. Great idea. That's, that's actually a true. Oi, that's we're putting the cat song as one of the verses. That's a great we're idea. doing the cat song. That's a great we're idea. doing the cat song. That's got to be part of it, Judge. It does a bit of a rap and then it goes into the cat no, song. No, I don't think it's a rap. Do you think it's just the cat song? I think it's the cat song. Done. I Wait. think we write the cat song. <gasps> Shit. What? We've got to draw those tattoos. I've got to draw those tattoos. So, yeah, sorry, I've been texting. Terrified, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep, I've got it. Don't worry, I'm on to it. Vote for the Hottest 100. We love you, bedwetters. Hooroo in the zoo. Love you, guys. Catch (laughs) you, catch you.